The Mark and Peter Daly collection includes an impressive selection of superb gilt bronze Buddhist figures dating from the 15th to the 18th century, as well as a large selection of ritual and ceremonial ephemera. The highlight of the collection is an exceptionally rare Tibetan gilt copper alloy group of Vajra Bhairava and Vajra Vitali, which dates to the 17th century. It measures an impressive 49 centimeters high and is superbly cast in great detail. Vajra Bhairava is one of the most formidable deities in the Tibetan Buddhist pantheon. He is one of the principal meditation deities in the Gallup tradition of Tibetan Buddhism. Tsongkhapa and the Qing emperors also promoted themselves as manifestations of the Bodhisattva Manjushri. Therefore, such images carried both religious and imperial connotations, endorsing the mandate of heaven of the emperor. Another highlight from the collection is a Chinese gilt bronze figure of Guan Yin, dating to the 18th century. It bears a Tibetan inscription which may be translated as Salutations to Guan Yin, the Goddess of Mercy. An intriguing and a very rare and large sculpture is a gilt bronze model of a dragon standing on two flaming pearls of wisdom, grasped by each of its two five-clawed feet. The dragon is closely related to a pair of dragons in Chateau de Fontainebleau, which were taken from the Yuan in 1860. The Mark and Peter Daly collections of Chinese, Tibetan and Nepalese art travel from China and Tibet to the US and Paris, Wales and London and have never been offered for sale before. According to family history, much of the Chinese, Tibetan and Nepalese art was collected in the late 19th to the early 20th century by the American lumber baron Henry Harrison Getty. Following her father's death in 1919, Alice Getty sold much of the collection to Courtney Morgan, first Viscount Tridiga in the early 1920s. In the early 1960s, a handwritten A catalog of the Dainley collection of Tibetiana and associated Buddhistic objects was compiled by a member of the family, listing many of the pieces in the collection. Mark Dainley and his son Peter owned and ran Baptin Company, a firm specializing in supplying arms and armor to the film industry, contributing to such films as The Bridge Too Far, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Stanley Kubrick's film Barry Lyndon, which won an Oscar in 1975, and Saving Private Ryan. <laughs>